Hey everybody, welcome back to this uh, lecture on pathogenesis. Um, so basically what we covered in our past uh, lecture was about how viruses proliferate and replicate inside our body. And these are really high level kind of sort of lecture learning series for myself, but also for you hopefully, where we try to understand what happens when things start getting a little bit sort of out of control. So pathogenesis basically uh, is uh, a process uh, uh, where you, the virus spreads uh, inside an organism, inside humans, inside animals, and the mutual relationship between a pathogen and its host during the infection, that's what pathogenesis kind of describes. So it's a process that can be analyzed in many different ways, um, in histological ways, uh, virological and immunological methods, essentially. A viral infection can or be with or without symptoms. Uh, you can have, you know, infectious uh, kind of uh, courses, um, having, you know, cough or sneezing and those kind of symptoms, or it can be without uh, symptoms. It's also called apparent or inapparent uh, uh, infection courses. In both cases, the host organism responds to the immunological defense responses and just um, kind of leads to overcoming the primary disease symptoms. You don't want to essentially uh, sort of get into some serious trouble and you should you know, go into a process of eliminating the virus. So the course, the typical course of an acute viral infection, it actually manifests in an early stage with a very non-specific sort of flu-like symptom. And it, it looks a little bit like this. So if you were to draw this uh, graph, and if we were to see the path of how, you know, in case of corona as well, you can see the similar to other viral infections. Um, what you will see is the evolution of this. Uh, so here, for example, you come in contact with the virus here at some point of time. And, and let's this be time zero. And, and then you have this process of you contracting. So this is this period in which you have contracted the, the virus. This process is called viremia. Viremia, um, and and basically what it does is uh, you you tend to get symptoms in this phase. Uh, um, these symptoms could be, uh, you know, flu-like symptoms. Flu-like symptoms. Symptoms like fever, cough, sneeze, stuff like that. And, <clears throat> and what happens here is, let me just go back to here. So essentially here uh, you have these guys and I'll describe in detail. So IgM, IgM. They are the ones who are basically fighting and sort of putting this back into uh, you know, br bringing your body back, trying to destroy the virus. So what basically IgM or immunoglobin M is basically an Im immunoglobulin, globulin M. So just if you read out of Wikipedia, it is uh, essentially it was being, it was reported back in 1937. And, and the whole purpose of this was originally called uh, uh, Psi um, Macroglobulin. And originally it was called a Psi Macroglobulin. And uh, so this, the whole purpose of, of this antibody uh, is, is basically to to attack uh, your antigen. Essentially what it does is it basically releases uh, uh, cytokines, uh, chemokines, uh, essentially in a later stage. But the purpose of I IgM is, is to fight uh, these viruses. Now if things don't go that well, uh, what happens is 
Um, and there, this, many of you might be experiencing this right now as well. So this is a sort of a symptom free, symptom free phase, symptom free phase. So this could last a few days. This could last a few days. And essentially what happens is um, when uh, this happens, uh, you will not experience anything. You can kind of tend to think that you're recovering, but then uh, things can go bad. And, and here, then you have the big brother of I, let's just call it a big brother. So IgG. And IgG is the variant that is, um, it's called immunoglobulin G. It's a type of antibody and approximately 75% of the serum antibodies in humans. So this guy basically says, all right, so it didn't work with all these uh, little cytokines that I released into the body to kill the antigen. And this guy brings forth uh, this, uh, so IgG specific T cells, uh, specific T cells. And, and what this leads to is uh, essentially it's uh, releasing T cells and T cells are very indiscriminate. So the virus is basically spreading. Uh, so this is basically a monophasic. You can see this, uh, you can say, call this a monophasic infectious disease. So monophasic infectious disease. And this is uh, when these two are combined, it becomes a biphasic. biphasic um, so here what happens is the virus is spreading to the organs and and you know this is this is a problem that we we definitely want to avoid and t-cells become uh, super active and they start actually destroying also your healthy cells so it goes into skin uh, liver depending on the kind of virus that you're being infected with lung you know as we have with cov 2 right now um, so your upper respiratory, uh, and this is time, just to, so your upper respiratory, respiratory, my handwriting is so bad, um, nervous system, uh, and organ manifestation starts happening. And this is really bad, so this is not, this is something which we want to avoid. So. IgM essentially is trying to fight these guys, you know, put you into symptom free, uh, you're asymptomatic, um, and hopefully you're not carrying any of these viruses. Um, if, if you pass this phase and this never comes back, everything is normal. If you end up into this phase, um, then we are, uh, you know, we need to start worrying about, uh, uh, about the patient and I think this is where a lot of people kind of uh, can make a lot of mistakes assuming that well I had some flu-like symptoms and and basically this is where I was uh, and and essentially uh, you need to kind of and this can be a couple of days so um, if you look at zero one uh, one two three weeks so it approximately zero to four weeks is is a period where you really need to be watchful so, so this period can last, uh, this period can last a week or 10 days, uh, this period, uh, this could be a few days and this could be another few days. So hopefully this gives guys, this gives you a bit of an idea around what kind of viruses, uh, and how they affect our, our system and, and, and how we need to be careful about this. So I'll see you guys in the next class.